Hey, before we get into the episode, the fucking turn your phone off. The No Slide <laughs> Season Tour people is on wouldn't, sale. People wouldn't have been able to hear that, so it's just pissing us off. Turn, your, that turn it from? off. It's No Slide Season, and you had your phone on, and I'm not letting it slide. Who's who's messaging you? Why are you so popular? What's more important than my tour dates? <laughs> oh, your girlfriend. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, does she pay thirty five dollars to see you? No, nah, not important. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no Slide Season is on sale now. My tour, we just uh, did a bunch of dates. The show went awesome. Uh, Brisbane is up next. I got two shows. They're selling like crazy. After that, Wollongong, Newcastle and Sydney. And we just sold out the first Melbourne show. We're adding another one. There are a bunch more dates as well. Lewspears.com slash gigs. I will see you guys at the show. Um, and Keelan will be there as well. Luke, you what, got... What happened? What happened? Um... I think the charger is in Queensland. For the, For camera. the camera? Yeah. Oh, no. Because you know how... Is it not plugged in? No. Oh, no. It? Oh, it's not plugged in. Because I didn't plug it in... Whereabouts in Queensland? At the venue. You plugged it in, so it wasn't in my head that it was plugged in. Fuck. That's not good. Guys, this might be the worst start to an episode ever. This are we keeping this in? Oh, for sure. This is a big mistake. This is <laughs> this is video evidence of the biggest mistake yet. The charger for the podcast cameras in Gold Coast. Oh, I'm sorry. So, guys, loosebeers.com/gigs so, so that we can afford a new charger. Episode? Yeah, it's at fifty-eight percent. Should be able to. So we should be able to. So, so if it some... cuts out at any point, you know, you guys know what happened. You know who to sound off at. It's yeah. not our fault, is it? Um, I do have things to plug as well. Yeah, finally. Okay. Um, I, I've been on like a no plug streak, which I've been loving. Not yeah. having to plug stuff, but oh, guys, it's good. I'm back on the grind. Uh, my comedy special premiere date uh, in Melbourne. Date. Actually, one. Date, one. October 3rd is the official premiere screening of my debut comedy special. Awesome. And uh, it, tickets should be on sale uh, Thursday. We're not sure yet. Obviously, but Luke, what if they're not on sale? Then go to lukehidgel.com and join that mailing list. That That's is the right. first place you'll find out if you're in Melbourne and you want those ticks. There's only 100 tickets available. Ooh. So it's exclusive. And it's a premiere. And uh, it, Lewis, what? it's fancy dress. Fancy dress? It's actually not. Fancy dress. It's just a dress up party. Oh, is it like costumes? Yeah. Awesome. Well, you can. It's encouraged. Okay. It's, it's, it's a themed. It's a themed event. So if you want to dress up, great. If you don't, it's not compulsory. So, and the everyone, theme. Everyone coming is your fans. Yes. So everyone's going to be dressed as Shrek? No. No? What's just the theme? Basic. basic. Basic AF, simpleton, uh, dr dressing your best cotton on attire. If you've yeah. got a Mountain Dew t shirt, I'm if you've got coming. an old Fallout Boy t shirt, <laughs> if you're one of those girls who's still got those fluoro trackies from high school, yeah. wear them, all right? Wear, wear Dunlop volleys, you know, wear khaki shorts. It's just like. Oh, ladies can put their hair in a quiff. Yes. Remember because that? I don't From think year seven? I can announce the name of the special yet, but it's heavily on theme with the special. That's great. Uh, my special is uh, about me being maybe a bit of a basic boy. That's good. And um, therefore, I want people to come celebrate it with me. So it's going to be like a half movie premiere screening, yeah. but also a half a party, and we're going to have fairy bread. Awesome. Yeah. This <laughs> so, is good. I mean, it sounds better than my premiere. Yeah. Your premiere was just not themed at all. Like, your your comedy special was called Death Threats Don't Scare Me. Yeah. You should have threatened to kill everyone on the way in. I should have. should have been like, bring a weapon, you yeah. know, <laughs> bring a knife, bring a gun. It's going to be a party. Nah, somebody already did that in America. I don't want to steal the idea. No. <laughs> 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 happens too much in movie theatres, actually. Uh, but yeah, this is, uh, is going to be a hell of a fun time. Time. Uh, there's going to be like you think oh, we're going to get photos. There's going to be like a media wall, dress ups, bloody you know, panic at the disco is going to be pumping. So if you uh, want to celebrate white culture, then uh, <laughs> come and celebrate it with me at my movie premiere. Uh, it'd right. mean it'd mean the world. Cool. October third. Let's get into the episode. You. All right. Ooh episode. 17. 17. I knew that. 17. Uh, the Luke and Lewis show. The first time I'd ever pressed the button on Radio Mike 2 to begin the episode. How did it feel? I felt a bit wrong and I felt like I stole your thunder a little bit and I'd like to apologise. I'll take it back. You do it. And welcome We're to off. episode 17 of the Luke and Lewis show. That's why I forgot the episode number yeah. because you pressed the button. Honk, honk. You've done honk, honk. Uh, I, didn't, I, didn't have a new one. I didn't have a new one. Oh, well, we'll, yeah. we'll get back to that. Um, 
We are finally back. We're from our emergency episode I... that was released. Um, our last episode was an emergency episode. As you guys know, uh, we filmed a few emergency episodes that are timeless based on your suggestions, yep. just in case one of us missed the show. Lots of people have been theorizing during the week as to whose fault it was. Yep. Um, I, I was the prime suspect. You're easily the prime suspect because you and Keelan just went to Gympie yep. on the weekend. Yeah, uh, my tour has started. I'm yes. very busy. I'm you also... had mannequins to perform to, and I get yep. that you're a busy guy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, no one else is going to make those mannequins sit there doing nothing. Exactly, not laughing. You know, someone's going to do it. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, I guess, do we need to do a bit of a build up as to whose fault it was? Um, I think that. Uh, obviously, the evidence against me is quite damning. Mm. My tour had just started. I'm often late. You also missed a flight on the weekend I saw. I did miss yep. a flight. Um, my flight to the Sunshine Coast was overbooked and delayed. Yep. And then my flight home was completely cancelled. Um, but you know what, Luke? I still managed to make every single episode so far. Mm. And it was actually you <laughs> who missed the episode. The I... guy who's doing... Nothing! Hey, I'm a busy guy. I went to a high school to perform and it was booked in. So what happened yeah. was I'd booked in a thing in March before we'd started this podcast, right? I looked at my diary about yeah. a week or so before and I went, oh shit. Because at the time this guy was like, you know, the principal of some school was like, hey mate, will you be free on Mondays? And I'm yeah. like, yeah mate, I'm <laughs> always free then, right? Mondays is where we record the Tuesday episode of the podcast because yeah. we have to get out by 5 a.m. the day before. That's so right. I was like, can't make it on the Monday. Oh, you've ruined it. They all thought we'd been recording it at 3 a.m. on Monday. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now you've just ruined the mystique of the show. Like, I can't believe these guys get up at 3 a.m. every Monday just to record the show. That's commitment. No wonder they're actually, missing episodes. It'd actually be on a Tuesday. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, so it was me. And um, you know what? It was great. Um, <laughs> the school was a pain. And, uh, yeah. and, and the podcast? Isn't podcast so, isn't pain. I, I rate that. Thank you. Good you on know, you. You got to take that money. Yeah. Um, and, and we still got a knobby plug in the emergency episode as well. That's so right. I got double paid. There you go. Yep. Um, um so it was actually good. it was good fun. Yeah. Yep. Did the kids like it? Yeah, it was just a bunch of year 12s. Uh, their principal wanted uh, a de stress before their exams. So, literally, during one of their periods, they just they hired a comedian. They're like, Yeah, he'd seen like, cool. my videos. The principal yeah. was like, Yeah, man, I like your shit. And he just was like, Come on down. And, this guy trashes VCAL. Yeah. We'll get him on. And by the way, a few of the. Uh, of the kids listen to our show. So, hey, guys, thanks for listening. They, they were you going? said that they were uh, enjoying it. And yep. um, a few of them pulled you up on some mistakes, actually. <laughs> Killing, what mistakes yeah. for? Yeah, just... What, just uh, maybe leaving charges in yeah. different states. One uh, one guy said after uh, after the show, because I stayed around to you know take photos of some of them, one, one guy said... Um, Oh, did you notice that? Um, and I didn't think it was a mistake. He was being nitpicky, and I told him that. Yeah. Uh, he said uh, <laughs> the thumbnail of what you wrote in the thumbnail was different to the episode <clears throat> title, but yeah. I think that's fine because often fine. thumbnails are different to the title of the episode. They're you know, always we, different, aren't yeah. they? We've done that a couple times. Yeah, so. we've done that yeah. a few times. Not a mistake. As Actually, a it was a creative choice. choice. <gasps> yeah, so choice. bit nitpicky. Um, but that's now, why we missed it. Things that aren't nitpicky. <laughs> Uh, I would think that you would agree. Uh, leaving leaving the the only charger that we have for the camera yep. in a different state uh, while it was now plugged into the camera. Yeah. How did you? So, can I? Speak? I'm not angry, okay. but I just want to understand. Worry, how, what did you want to say? I just had my hand raised because I wanted to speak. Yep. Yeah, I was oh, honestly a little bit nervous because because we bought this camera the two of us, right? Yeah, I yeah, we split it. this camera. Yeah. So and you were like, oh, can I take the camera on too? And I was like, yeah, man. Of course, great camera, use it. That's what we're paid for it for. Yep. I was a little bit nervous. Uh, we, I just assumed something would happen. Yep. I'm glad it wasn't a broken camera because that's a lot more expensive. So much more I, expensive. I did go into this weekend a little nervous and you're taking it away every show of the tour this year. And I just shows. think by the end, we're not going to have that camera anymore. <laughs> well, um, so uh, can I explain myself on how this happened? Just before you do, yeah. I do have a question. Yeah. I, when we set the camera up, yeah. we plugged the charger in. Uh, uh, so how did you okay. manage to unplug the charger, yeah. pack down the camera yep. and be like, fuck that cord? <laughs> Is that what you did? Uh, okay, well, first off, you plugged in the charger yep. on your own. I wasn't there. Yep. Yep. So Is that not, not in my... Is Lewis not allowed to do unsupervised plugs? No, no, no. no go for it. Let's do okay. it. Okay, <laughs> great. He's and a grown adult. He can <laughs> plug in whatever the fuck he wants. Yeah, you're yeah. allowed to do that. Okay. 
but because I as long wasn't as it's there to watch it happen, it's yeah. not in my mind. Okay. That it's plugged in. And then because I'm arguably more famous than you are, <laughs> as I've Who's arguing that? <laughs> me. Yeah. As only <laughs> only Keelan's arguing that. As I've started, Maybe Mike Goldman. Yeah. <laughs> As I've started to pack down, about six people have come Can up to me. Can I actually ruin that argument? Yeah. No one calls him Key Ring. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Your yeah. argument's Everybody over. does spell my name right. Most okay. people spell yeah. his name correctly. <clears throat> and <laughs> six people came up to me. Yeah. And then... And distracted as, you. As I was holding the DSLR, undoing the whole... Wait, six people came up to you? That's more people than came to your Gimpy show. So maybe it's more I've, famous. Yeah. I've got a story about the Gimpy show. We'll get to that. <laughs> And I was taking the camera off the tripod. The tripod wasn't working properly. It was a whole... Whole m- thing. Whole hoo-ha. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, then, and people were distracting you. Fans of the show. Yeah. So, so it's actually, actually okay. your guys. I, I've so unplugged the camera, mm-hmm. done everything and walked away. And I don't have a working belt. So I'm trying to balance four or five different Killers things. lost so much weight <laughs> that all tour, I reckon... He, I re- like he filmed a lot of stuff, but I think the main <laughs> thing that he was doing the whole tour was just making sure that his pants didn't fall down. Oh, have you gone belt. down a size? Yeah, I've lost pants. 11 kilos, so I've lost... You lost 11 kilos? Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's great. That's a well lot. Is, what is that, 10% of your body weight? Yeah. About? Yep. So do you reckon, so yep. we get, do you reckon we'd pay him 10% less? No. Nope. we get 10% no, less so. kilos? Maybe he's paying me 10% more. Why? Because it's less of you to pay. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, here's the thing, okay? Guys, you're allowed to talk to Keelan, but the thing is... Talking to Keelan, if you talk to him during the show when he's filming and packing up and doing everything, you're actually wasting his time. And by doing that, you're wasting my money. So you can talk to Keelan, but I have a new rule, okay? And I thought about this, and I think this is a good rule. And yeah. this will be if, if Keelan does any work at, at Luke's shows yeah. or if, if we do any Luke and Lewis yeah. live shows, I think this is a good rule. Ooh, you some can, foreshadowing. Yes, I but like perhaps it. it could happen. <laughs> Who, knows? Who knows? Could be booked in. Oh, what? No worries. <laughs> here's, here's the deal. Very well. You can talk to Keelan, right? You're allowed to, but because every, you know, conversation, what do you reckon, goes for a couple of minutes, mm-hmm. Keelan? Yep. Okay. I say that it's pretty fair as you're wasting Keelan's time, which is my money. Mm. You can talk to Keelan as long as you give me a gold coin. <laughs> ah, gold a coin dollar, don- two dollars. Yeah. Gold coin donation. Gold, gold coin to- donation and you get a conversation with Keelan. Not a conversation, an interaction. Hey, how you going, mate? Because he's very busy. Mm. So and, and clearly cannot focus on two things at once. Absolutely. Like so, you struggle to focus here when you have no distractions. Mm. Yet I cannot imagine how you I was sh- also how much really you sick. So the charger was, was not sick. the number one thing on my mind. Right. Yeah. He was very sick. His dick was out. His pants kept falling down. <laughs> yeah. People are talking to him, going, Hey man, where's your dick? I was going, Oh, that cost a dollar. A lot of stuff were a lot of stuff <laughs> it was happening. Like it was a crazy weekend for you guys. It was it was, it was good. The shows were awesome. Um now I guess we all want to know is uh how was Gimpy? Gimpy? Okay. By the way, there are a lot more people there than I thought. Yeah. Like I saw the Instagram story and I counted. I froze the story and I was counting. I counted. It was a lot more over than we twenty. Thought. Okay, so uh, the the saga of Gimpy was put the tour on sale, yeah. sold ten tickets, and that was it for the longest time. Ten tickets was all that I'd sold. It was a three hundred and twenty seat theatre, oh, really, <laughs> or so I was told. Until we arrived and realised it was the function room at a fucking golf course. Right. And I had sold... That does not surprise me. I, yeah, it was very gimpy, right? Yeah. I had, and, and also, I had sold so poorly in gimpy that they were like, oh, well, because this guy that we have on this weekend has sold so badly, what we'll do is we'll get ahead of the next weekend and start setting up the rest of the room for next weekend's event. So I got to the golf course, <laughs> right? First big disappointment. I was like, well, at least it'll be in a big theater. Nah. Golf course, right? Yeah. First big disappointment. Second disappointment was 70% of the venue was set up for next weekend's wedding. <laughs> <laughs> so there's tables. So you did a wedding theme show in Gimpy. Yep, tables. There's a big cake. Flowers. <laughs> the celebration. Fairy there. lights. <laughs> it was fucked, right? And then just chairs. But I got 25 people in. Not that bad for Gimpy. It's pretty good. You, your, your sales went up by 15 yeah. in the last week. More than doubled. That's a lot. Um, and not, I saw someone when, did bring a mannequin. And someone no, someone brought half a mannequin. Right. I couldn't even get a full mannequin. I saw at the it Gimpy was wearing show. Founders merch, which was good. That was good. Yeah. yeah. 
I, um, I kind of wish it was a day one mannequin, but I'll take it. You know, yeah, it's you good. Know. It's Any, good they're supporting the money. show. Yeah. <laughs> um, but Gee. here's the the craziest thing about the Gimpy show, right? So I'm doing the show and it's actually going really good, you know, because you, you just tone it down. It's a bit quiet. Everyone knew that it was going to be Your small. shows are often quiet. You I fuck that. off. Nothing new. <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyway, I'm doing the show and I do some crowd work and I'm yep. talking about Gimpy and I talk to a couple and I go, are you guys from Gimpy? And they go, no. One of them's like, why are you talking to me? I'm a mannequin. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but they go, no, we're not from Gimpy and they trash Gimpy. And I go, oh, okay, whatever. People travel for regional shows. I talk to another another group and they go, no, we're not from Gimpy. I talk to another group. No, we're not from Gimpy. I talk to four groups. No, we're not from Gimpy. <laughs> I go, hang from? on a second. Who here is actually from Gimpy? Now, Luke, 25 people in the room, right? How many people do you reckon were actually from the city that I was performing At least 50%. Three. What? Three people from the Gimpy show were actually from Gimpy. How... How far were they people traveling from? Far and wide? Every I asked around. Every single other person in the audience came from a city called Harvey Bay. If I did a show in Harvey Bay, ah. I would have sold 100 tickets because 25 people drove two hours to come people. to Gimpy. 22 people. Mm. Right. I've. It was the weirdest thing. I've never done... It's like doing that's a show in, in uh, Sydney and no one being from Sydney. Well, that's what uh, that almost happened to me in Hobart this year. Yeah. Uh, where I was like, oh, who here is from Hobart? And maybe like 50% of the audience raised their hand. And I was like, well, where, where is everyone else from? And they're like, oh, we drove three hours from Launceston. Because that was the only show Tasmanian there. show I was doing. Yeah. And I was like, well, I would have sold better in Launceston. Yeah, because if 50 people travel, there's probably 100 people that would have seen you yes. if you were there. And I was like saying to the Hobart people, I was like, would have you, um, next year if I do Launceston, I was bargaining with them on stage, yeah. right? Because I was like, I'm not doing both, clearly, because there's only 45 of you here. Yeah. But next year, would you guys be willing to make the trip over so they don't have to next year? <laughs> and a few people were like, yeah, we'll do it. Just Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, next year I might go to Launceston. Well, next year I'm definitely skipping Gimpy. They fucked it. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I, and by the way, and I'm now not going there. Just yeah. this whole saga has scared me off the whole town. I think the the issue was Sunshine Coast is only an hour away. It's That's, too close to do Yes, two and shows. I, I did Sunshine Coast there. I think people came to my Sunshine Coast show this year from Gimpy or Brisbane, something yeah. like that. That's what I asked the Gimpy people. They all said they would come. So right. next year... Gimby's Sorry, Gimpy, you fucked it. I've <laughs> never, I've never done a show in a city That's where fine. I've gone. Well, never going back there. But Gimpy, congratulations, you're the first no return city I've ever played in. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, uh, well I'm glad it went well. It, That's it was good. good. It was. Now uh, we do need to talk about our, uh, you know, our sponsor. We got to pay the bills. You know how it is. Absolutely. This warehouse doesn't pay for itself. All right. That's I mean. Right. Really, uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure who pays for it. Some bank Mostly account me. in Russia, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you pay someone who yeah. pays for this. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, uh, nobby.com.au. That's, you, that's how you're joining the Undie Club. That's right. The best underwear uh, in Australia. They actually are incredibly comfortable. I'm still wearing mine. I only have two pairs. I keep washing oh. them because they're so comfortable. Didn't the guy from Nobby come to your show? That is the biggest reason why we should support Nobby. The because the, the The owner of Nobby came to my show. That's he didn't great. even tell me. Didn't ask for tickets. Didn't tell me he was coming. Bought tickets mm -hmm. out of his Nobby cash yeah, he's to loaded. support me. Because they're a very successful company. Yeah. Because they're killing the undie game. And that's great. And by the way, they're, they're loaded because their undies are so goddamn cheap, by the way. That's right. Not because they're, you know, How much are fleecing they? people. Just 20 bucks a month. $20 a month? Yeah. And you, it's or 20 bucks a month. Bucks. Yeah, we have to say bucks. bucks. That was explicitly stated yep. in the email. Say bucks because it sounds more casual. It's, it's like, not $20. It's 20 bucks, mate. Yeah. Like, for example, if you go to, like, an arcade and play Buck Hunter next yeah. time, yeah. if you shoot 20 deer, that's 20, 20 bucks. Out. Yeah, you get free nobbies instead of tickets. Uh, of disclaimer, that doesn't happen. <laughs> 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 the only way but to get nobbies is to get online. Buck Hunter, though, great game. Great game to yes. play in your underwear, nobby.com.au to get yours. Yes. Because he comes to the show and he loved the show and he loved the rap. It was so much that they want us to do a film clip yeah. for the rap from two episodes ago. Well, dude, that ago. rap was fire, man. It was fire. It was really fire. Now, um, oh, you can play it again if you want. No, nah, no. Nah. We'll play it. We'll make a film clip. The okay. people want the clip. Nobby want the clip. They're going to post well, it on their socials. Lewis. Yep. Um, oh, what have you got? I was oh, uh, <laughs> fully aware that today we were shooting the film clip. Yeah. Right? And because I don't rap yeah. in, the, in the song yeah. at all, 
I still wanted to contribute because I'm a massive fan of Nobby.com.au. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm a big fan of what they do and I wanted to... Uh, you want to be in it. I wanted to show up. You and could I was... um, be like a, a video vixen. Well, what's that? That's all the hot girls that shake their asses. I'm happy to do that. Okay. And uh, Or I'm happy to be like... I was, I was, I watched a few rap videos over the weekend. Yeah. And um, I noticed a lot of backup rappers, mm-hmm. uh, quite tough looking guys. Yes. You might yeah. even say bad boys. Now, yes. Lewis. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Last week I did say I've got something up my sleeve. Okay. What have you got? <laughs> oh, no, it all came what? off. <laughs> what is that? I got a knobby sleeve. Where did you get Nobby tattoos from? What do you mean, man? Nobby.com.au. <laughs> <laughs> I did it this morning. Uh, I will admit they, they've all come off. They've all come off. I, uh, they're not as high quality as the uh, as the Transformers ones. Yeah, <laughs> but Nobby. But that is great underwear. That is not a reflection tattoos, on their underwear. <laughs> not so much. But there's a reason why it's called Nobby underwear, and not Nobby tats. So yeah, that's that's why I was. That's, and, that's, That's why I was one hour and 45 uh, minutes late today. Is that what you were doing? <laughs> it took about an hour. I also <laughs> slept in. But <laughs> okay. Well, so that's I was pretty thinking good. For like the back of the... Um, oh, I'll put on this. Because again, yeah. for the back of the film club, right, hit play on the rap. Okay. Um, so you know, you'll, you'll be doing. actually spitting bars, right? Yeah. But I'll be yeah. just that guy. Shout out to Nobby. Fuck chicken in. Yeah. Right? Spend $50 on a I'll pair of like, underwear. Yeah. Nah, you and me know no, that's like, just unfair. Uh, you still yeah, that's good. Switch like, my what? brand. Got so much cash, I could buy some land. Fuck yeah, that's good. You'll be the guy who's like, I don't do a shit then. Yeah, they had a wife. I'm with a guy who's like, yeah, girl, that's the right. rapper's friend who yeah. knows that's like 30% of the lyrics yeah. and, and he'll just, most of the song he'll check out, he's like vibing, yes, but every now and then that 30% that he remembers yeah. something yeah. and he'll just go, yeah, cheap copy, and there yeah. it goes. Yeah. That's, that's all I know of most rap songs anyway, that's perfect. That knobby, and they fade away, and that's it, that's good, that's good, okay, well I think that's great. I've got my knobby t-shirt on as well, which they sent us as well. Brilliant. So shout out uh, nobby.com.au. Are they secret? I have my shirt on huh? as well. Are no, they no, secret? No, the other shirts now. they sent us. Oh, the other, what yeah. shirts? Can't say, secret. Oh, <laughs> I forgot we were talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll, we're going to do that film clip today. We'll, we'll get it up, we'll try and get it up uh, to... I'm really annoyed that that, because I should have taken a photo th- this morning, because they, they, they look great. Yeah. That's so annoying. You just look like you have a skin disease. I'm so there. glad, dude, because I'm going to Perth yeah. on Thursday, and, oh, uh, and it's perform. hot there, and... Man, yeah, 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 I don't want <laughs> Not that. <good. laughs> um, so nobby.com.au to get your underwear, they support us, so we should support them. Um, now with that out of the way, uh, I guess we should do something really exciting, Luke. Smash out some admin. <sighs> now, I was thinking actually, because mm-hmm. I know we talked about this before the podcast, we should probably catch up, but um, we usually do admin on Tuesdays, and quite mm. frankly, like Thursdays, it's just. I do, we, that's the thing. We do have a lot of admin, and people also said they wanted seven minutes of admin. Yeah. But do we want to do it on a Thursday? Because people aren't accustomed to doing admin later in the week. That's it's more true. of an early week thing. That is an early week so thing. So do we do like a, a shorter time of admin? Just because, um, you know what? I just feel like because we had so much fun in our emergency mm. episode, I think maybe it is time. I think we just have to apologize okay. to people. All right. Well, Guys, we'll, it is time to check some things off, but we are we do sincerely apologize for doing any admin on a Thursday because Thursday episodes are supposed to be more of a party. More yeah, of a it's supposed time. to be a bit more fun, but unfortunately we do have to get some things done. Yep, now Something we, that I need to get done you is... You are stalling, I can lo- tell. Loading up the sound effects. Yeah, and I said before yeah. we started the podcast, Lewis, do you have the sound effect ready? And you went, yep. Uh, well, no, I said, I, I was trying to say yes, yeah. but I just said yeah, which was like, and the other half of the S, it was just not there because okay. I only I only had half the uh, the effects. I only have that. Uh-huh. So either either we pause or I sit here rummaging through my computer to find Can we do a live, do it uh, live opener? Okay. So can someone uh, do like a, Keelan, can you do the phone sound that's in the background and do some office? So you do the office hustle and bustle and then... In the yeah. background, I'll do the the, the faded talking. Yeah, and I'll just can't go, really understand and I'll do it. The okay. okay, all right, ready? Three, two, one. I'm sorry. Ring, ring. ring, ring. Oh, check that off. 
And uh, now it's time for the admin section of the yes. show. Uh, seven minutes today, as requested uh, mm-hmm. by popular demand, surprisingly popular demand. We honestly thought when we came up with this idea, we were like, that'll be funny once, and it's like a fan favourite segment. Yeah. Keep doing more admin, <laughs> keep getting stuff done. We love being productive. People so. just love efficiency on this show. It is I, good. It's great. I think the, the two highlights that have come out of our show is the knobby advertising <laughs> and the admin, yes. which on paper... Most boring part people of the show. Are, really, what is quite offensive is if people hate the actual show. <laughs> <laughs> like, these boys suck, but I love when they advertise stuff and get shit done. <laughs> so that's great, you know? Man, we It's inspired just... us to be more productive. It has. Uh, so first thing on uh, my list, uh, Kilo, have you started the seven oh, minutes? wait, wait. Start, it oh. went to seven minutes, ten seconds. Okay, oh, that's, that's too, too much. That's too much admin. <laughs> too much admin. Start. Please. Okay, cool. great. Uh, first thing on the agenda, mm-hmm. Lewis, is the fireplace. Now, yes. we have been getting a lot of criticism, mm-hmm. unfairly, the a last few episodes. People going, oh, the fireplace isn't turned on. No longer winter here in yeah. Australia. It's not so winter. Maybe they're international listeners yeah. uh, who are commenting that and may not be aware. But isn't it? Don't the seasons but those change listeners, everywhere? Those listeners didn't say that it's not winter when we were putting the fireplace on. So if you are an international listener, where's your consistency? All right? It's not winter anymore. We can't turn this on. But what do we do? So we do have a plan. Kellen and I came up with a with a plan oh, you have? a Good. week ago. Okay. So for summer, obviously, I think yep. a few people have been a little bit stressed about it. I know there's a lot of people who... Uh, are following the, I guess, yeah. you know, whether or not... The, lots of people really keep tabs on this fireplace. Yes. I would say it's a, one of the most more subtle things on the show, yeah. but apparently means a lot to Very a lot important. of watchers. Again, something that we thought wouldn't be that interesting <laughs> has just rocketed to the top of everyone's priorities. I think we hadn't even discussed it, and then the first episode, I think I came up with it on the spot, just yep. saying, oh, we should put it on in winter. Yep, and um, then we've just been brutalised for the few times we yep. forgot about it. Uh, we, most of the time. Actually. Most of the time, yeah. Uh, 50% success now, rate. Now, a few people are probably stressed going, what, are we just going to see this poor fireplace sit here all through summer getting unused? I think not. Okay, okay what do we do? I have doing? an idea. Yeah. We could either do, we can yep. replace it in the summer months yeah. with an esky or with a bar <laughs> fridge. <laughs> So we can get little refreshments. That's pretty good. And then more of an incentive to yeah. get a, a to get maybe a new sponsor of like a like a drink company, and we can and, be like, oh, and then that is good. Mm, an esky, I or don't a mind. mini bar fridge because that bar it fridge would have seems to be a bar time. fridge because esky opens from the top. That'll mess with Radio Mike Two It, it has to be that's the like thing. A bar fridge esky is looks good maybe, and it would be the right height. I think you can get some that are that yeah. height, but it means it would be unusable. There'd be no mm. function for the esky to just be there for show. And then, right. and then I feel like a big component of the fireplace is remembering to turn it on and yeah. off. If the esky just sits there, boring. So I think we do need We need a bar to fridge. look into a bar fridge. Okay. Now, if there's any people who make bar fridge and fr- fridges and they want to sponsor the show, if they want a free plug here for well, their... Custom bar fridges are a thing. Yeah, so That's look, a good idea. if anyone wants a free plug, you know, we're, we're looking, put it this way. Hint, hint, we're in the... Market for a new bar fridge. And here's the most exciting thing. Our budget is zero. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. We will not buy yours. But if you want to give us one, great. Yeah. All right. Is that checked off? Done. That is the plan for the fireplace. Oh, actually, before we check that off, uncheck that. Okay. Um, yep. I think maybe we transition into the bar fridge period as mm-hmm. soon as it gets too warm, that later end of spring. Because it's still kind of cold. Currently, it's spring. Yeah. It's and kind of I cold, like kind of warm. Maybe like late in late October. Bar fridge is definitely like more of a summer vibe. Maybe even November. Let's Maybe, just wait till November. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Hey, why don't we just wait till we get a bar fridge? That's an even better idea. 2020. <laughs> Check that off. Uh, next one, we I guess we need to talk about it again. It seems like an ongoing issue with this, with the show yep. and ongoing admin, which I yep. hate because I love efficient and I love checking things well, off. Well, that doesn't matter that you uh, hate it because the fans... <laughs> Love oh great more <laughs> shit to do we love admin that's awesome great well it's just annoying because we keep kind of hitting the check that off thing once we yeah. talk about it but it, it seems never gets, like it keeps coming back nothing gets done We're just putting band aids on it the curtains yeah <laughs> <laughs> well Luke if you if you recall I had the solution the solution was you you rent my steamer yeah. and then somehow no, you told me that you'd clean mine. Yeah. That was the deal, no. to get your curtains back. That was the deal. From the rubbers. 
The, what I'm saying is before the robbers, whoever they are, not my fault that we whoever the two I mean, robbers are, that was completely us. unpredictable and cannot be part of this discussion. That was an unforeseen inconvenience that happened. And from memory, I recall I saved the day on that one. Can, can I just say how disappointed I am in the sound off section for just full on not suspecting anybody on the show? No one was suspicious. I, I think f- lots feel of people, like there was a lot of evidence. Lots of people watched that episode out weighed up the evidence and went there's no way it could be luke or keelan right they're honest guys <laughs> if anything a lot of people patting me on the back for saving the day and rightfully so i'm i'm still angry about this you but shouldn't be. two minutes 20 seconds okay so we need to come up with a solution then so what now the solution? i did have a solution Are you standing by my word i don't like that idea i had another solution and i was going to surprise you with it but the person stopped emailing me back so right. last week I'd organised a professional steam cleaner to come in <laughs> during the podcast and yeah. start steaming my half. Yeah, I was going to do that. Yeah, because you were so nice about the, you know, the the the, you know, because you let me save the day and stuff. I was like, well, maybe I should get him to steam clean both. You I'll know what see. you're like. You're oh. like um, every now and a then. Hero? And, mm, oh. Every now and then there's a big news story Savior. about a big fire, and then one firefighter saves the day. And then everyone's like, oh, this firefighter is such a hero. Without him, that house would have burnt down. People would have died. Are you, what are you, do you want to be knighted? I was just waiting for my medal. Oh. Is that what you're leading up to? No, I'm, oh. I'm getting to it. And then, I was just trying to say And it. then everyone goes, well, hang on a second. How did this fire start? And why was that firefighter there so early to respond? Uh, this is a bit suspicious. And then uh, looking into it and examining the evidence, it turns out that he started the fire mm, so that he could job. become a hero. Um, and I'm just uh, I'm not saying that... That's definitely what happened. I'm just saying I'm getting those vibes from this curtain situation. And I hate that these accusations are being thrown around. We're, we're supposed to be not doing, an accusation. We're it's a supposed vibe. to be doing admin right now, checking yep. things off, and I'm you're just still out off, here throwing is there around any thieves on the show. You're accusing and me. No, I'm just just a vibe, just a vibe. This is an efficient chat, and people are hating this. Okay, sorry, we're efficiency. getting off track. All right, what are we going to do about these curtains? Um, I'll. Keep trying to contact the professional steamer and maybe just off. Why did he so, so he just stopped he replying? He just stopped replying. So he was like, hey. He was like, I will come in. The The date was booked, the time. Yep. And I was like, so still good for tomorrow? And then he never came in and then he stopped replying. He got ghosted. <laughs> he got ghosted. Yeah. <sighs> Bloody non-committal steam cleaners. Mm. 26 seconds. What? Don't they want to work for free? Um, I do have a quick competition update. Okay. Uh, great. So check that off. Actually, don't. We didn't get anything solved. Oh, okay. Um, I'll take that back. Take it back. Uh, quick. We got an email back from a competition Ooh, that we were entered in okay. saying uh, from... Uh, what was the competition that we entered? Not sure. Someone oh, else someone entered, else us. entered it. Yeah, okay, it's called great. Moment. It said, you didn't win, but ah. here's a gift. And now Ooh. we have 15% off in their off store. What? Uh, the Moment oh. Shop. That's it. Let's move on. That's, that's done. Um, I was the one who signed us up for that one. What, what, what was it? 6K worth of no, camera No, we can't talk gear. about it. Oh, it's it's okay. over. Stop, guys. You well, guys are breaking the rules. Thanks for getting us a discount code. No, stop. You guys are breaking the rules of the admin. Admin's over. You can't talk about that anymore. Take it back. <laughs> <laughs> that was me rewinding that last chat. <sighs> so, what do you want to talk about next? That was a bit of a lull there, wasn't there? Yeah, it was a bit of a lull <laughs> that was there. shit. You, you want to talk about um, Sizzler? Oh, oh, yeah, what are you doing, Keelan? <laughs> That's so, right. So, Keelan... People know, it got brought up in the emergency episode, actually, of obviously Keelan's been on a keto diet and been going very strong, by the keto way. Keelan. Commending you. Yeah, keto lost keto 10% keto. of his body weight, <laughs> which has you saved, from saved us 10% yes. in wages. Yes, thank you Which is you great, for that. so congratulations. Keep oh, going, no, no, Keep no, shedding no, the weight. No, no don't worry about it. Just keep going. That's, that's, I think that's how it works. You yeah. Pay, it's, like, it's like almost like a, um, you know, when you buy... Because we could afford to hire two people if you're anorexic. I've, yeah, we're paying you how I buy fruit from the supermarket by yeah. weight by kilo. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, but Keelan uh, has instead of paying per kilo, we're paying per kilo. <laughs> All right, wasn't that funny? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was funnier in my head. Yeah, I'm um, glad we clarified that. So yeah, Keelan, you've been on an absolute roll with the keto. You went from Kentucky Fried Keelan to Keto Keelan, and we've been so proud of you as yeah. bosses. Um, as friends, yeah, and as it's been, it's been incredible uh, up until the work moment. acquaintances. His, actually, his pants <laughs> oh, okay. don't fit anymore. <laughs> his pants don't fit. He's not even his belt. He was doing his belt to the last night. That's when you Still know you're falling proud off. of your mate. When his yeah. dick flops out accidentally because he's been on a hectic diet, you're like, mate, I'm proud. I'm proud. Yeah, I'm actually yeah. stretching my belt past, way past the last. Have you last had to belt. punch new holes in the belt, like with uh, a needle or something? Not yet. Well, Why I haven't. Just I just haven't. Just get a new belt. Yeah, I was going to. Just never did. <clears throat> um, 
But on uh, on this this you know the the first leg of the tour, mm. um, in uh, in New South Wales, Sizzler is a very big uh, chain restaurant. I've never been. Have you been? Uh, no, because every time I go there, I mock my friends who live up there because yeah. they think it's normal to have a Sizzler, and and they just go. Like, Isn't what? it kind of just like Hooters without the tits? I think so. I, I've never been. It's like it's like a trashy it's all American you can eat, restaurant. Yeah? It's a buffet, yeah. yeah what it's is a it? buffet? Have you been to uh, Food Star? Do you in remember Melbourne? when we used to have no. Smorgies in Melbourne? No. When we were kids, there was like an all you can eat chain called Smorgies. Oh, maybe. And it was just like you pay like forty bucks. It's quite hefty, but you just go in and you smash that shit. Like you just try and get moose your for worth. days. Yeah. Moose for days. Dude, the moose yeah. was dope. I, I still have memories of like throwing up as a kid and being <laughs> proud of myself. <laughs> I was an animal. Yeah, see, I would. Uh, I was always the person that would go to the buffet and then just eat like a regular meal. Yeah, you, and then you'd be like, oh, I just wasted my money. You'd go to a buffet and like eat a salad, come out feeling great, and be like, awesome. I'll continue on with my day. Yeah, I go to a buffet going like, this is my day, and I'm gonna ruin the rest of it in the next hour. One time, yeah. I went to a buffet with with Jazz's family, and her little brother, who would have been 17 or 18, ate. So much food. I've never seen a human eat so much food. He had so much food that he had to stop, have stomach pains, do three laps of the restaurant. Like walk right? it off. Walk it off. <laughs> and <then laughs> what he a sat legend. back down, he walked it off. Yeah. And uh, I was like, wow, that was crazy. You ate so much food. He goes, yeah. yeah. And then he went back and got more. Yeah. <laughs> That's a man Incredible. who knows how to pack in another lemon slice. When oh, the, absolutely. When the chips are down. Yeah. His throat, he, he knows how to put me in to, more. He was putting me to shame. Yeah, what a legend. Not even, not even a big dude. Just so, was like, I'm going to get my money's worth. I think I, I can guess what happened. I heard about Sizzler on the Carl and Jackie O show. You <laughs> and then so white. People are always like trash me yeah. for being basic. I don't wake up every morning and go, geez, I wonder what Carl Sanderlands thinks about buffets. <laughs> Is that he what likes you? them. Yeah, but, of course. Um, I, mean, I can tell. I no don't have to shit. listen to the show. I just <laughs> got to look at the guy and be like, I reckon he loves a good buffet. <laughs> and we were, when we were in Sunshine Coast, I saw one and I got very excited. Sunshine Coast was the first day, right? We're doing like three a human days. Buffet. <laughs> so Keelan sees a sun, sees a, a sizzler in Sunshine Coast and goes, oh. We should go to Sizzler, and then we're like, yeah, if we get time, whatever. And then I even forgot about I it. Even I look down on Sizzler, and I think a lot of people would be surprised to hear that. Yeah. Even I look down on people who go, wow, I'd love to go there. Yeah. Because um, you know who has surprised on and I'm sorry, Neil, but I'm ratting you out. Neil Cole Hatkar, fellow Camino now, is a good friend. He, he likes Sizzler. the widest taste in food of a person I've ever met. Him and Kieran Lyons, two comedians from Sydney. That's surprising, Neil. Neil? One time I witnessed, I, I was opening for him a f- couple of years ago on his tour. We yeah. went to Bendigo and Geelong together. He had Subway twice in a day. He had Subway for lunch and then dinner. That's like... On the way home, he's like, can we pull back past Subway again? I was like, we already had that for lunch. He's like, yeah, I know. Did you get it again with him? No, I got because KFC or something. That's shit. actually crazy yeah. from you. Just walking into a Subway and not leaving with like a foot long. <laughs> yeah. That's nuts. It's crazy. It was wild scenes. But that, that's the thing. Even for me, there is such a thing as, as a limit. too much sub. Yeah, and <laughs> one sub. Yeah. Um. So, Keelan sees a sizzler. Sorry, and the reason why I brought that up is because uh, I was recently told a story from uh, our management that uh, Neil, uh, one time, did exactly what you did. Went to the Gold Coast, begged them to go to a sizzler. Yeah. <laughs> and I just cannot believe that, that some people are like, what a cultural experience. Well, if me and Neil are ever in the Gold Coast at the same time, let's go, You guys go, can hang out Have together. A sizzler party. Like, most yeah. people go there to, to, for Dream World, Movie World. You're like, fuck that. I want sizzler. <laughs> what do they serve? Ribs? Well, let, we'll get to it. Yeah. So, uh, Keelan sees Sizzler yeah. in Sunshine Coast, right? Okay. So, not they're all throughout Queensland. Yeah, aren't they? Sunshine Coast. And he goes, We got to go. And we're like, Yeah, I guess if we have time, it's yeah. just a restaurant, whatever. And then we do the show, don't have time to go in Sunshine Coast. Keelan, in the morning, right, of the Gimpy show, first thing he does, wakes up, starts Googling Sizzler locations so we can eat there for lunch. Huh. And we're like... What happened to your diet? You're going so well. No, You can literally si- see the results. Your Sizzler. belt's not fitting. Sizzler yeah. was my exception. Yeah, that, he made an exception. That shouldn't be He's your... like, he planned it out. He's going to wreck his diet, diet at Sizzler. He was trying to make my tour, take a massive detour, <laughs> so he'd go to the Sizzler that's near Gimpy because they didn't have one in Gimpy. Because <laughs> apparently Gimpy don't attend anything. Yeah, <laughs> They would get two Sizzlers. people. <laughs> Everyone else would come from Harvey Bay to Although get a Sizzler. you posted a picture outside of Lowe's during the week, and there were more yep. people in that Lowe's than at your fucking show. <laughs> there was. There was. And <laughs> I was, think that says a lot about Gimpy. That Lowe's was packed. Yeah. Like, there was a lot of other me's in there. <laughs> 
very busy. So you might do well in Gimpy. Yeah. You just show up and be like, hey, I'll guys. just flyer at the lows throughout the day. <laughs> just, nah, fuck that. Do the show at lows. <laughs> And, you know, just that's so on brand for right you. Right next to the mannequins. Jeez, that'd be, I reckon that would be peak Luke Kidgel if you could get a, a Lowe's sponsorship. Oh, man, I should. That'd be great. I've been trying to get uh, sponsored by that company, Mr. Mister Simple. Yeah. Yeah, but they, they're they not interested. <laughs> Bloody dogs. Apparently, I'm too sophisticated for them. Doubt mm. it. They don't know me. <laughs> um. So, yeah, so he tries to make us take a massive detour. We go, no, we're not, right? We go, <laughs> we've got to do the Gimpy show, whatever. And then, again, for the second time that trip, I forget about Sizzler. Killen, there's a reason why this chain shut down almost Australia-wide. Because it wasn't working in New South Wales or Melbourne. I don't see why. <laughs> <laughs> then, right, we get to Gold Coast and Keelan goes, boys, there is a sizzler 20 minutes away from the venue. I, we have to go. I know the sizzler you're talking about. And it's on the main highway. <laughs> yeah. And at this point, Keelan is so sick. Like, he might sound sick today. <laughs> he was close to death. I honestly didn't, wasn't sure if he was going to be able to film the show, yeah. right? Luckily, he managed to do it, and the only thing he forgot was the most Im- second most important thing, the charger. But whatever. We talked about that. We might return to it. <laughs> um, and anyway, so we get there, and we start setting up for the show because it's at the hotel, and Keelan's like, when are we going to Sizzle? When are we going to Sizzle? I'm like, mate. Set up, and then we can do stuff. This is the conversation. They were talking about something actually quite important, and then they've turned around to me, and I've gone, boys, there is one more important thing we haven't talked about. And they both go, what is it? And I say, when are we going to Sizzler? <laughs> and both of us... Honestly, was, was, was expecting you to say D's nuts. So I'm actually... A, I'm proud, but also a little, still a little ashamed. Either's bad. <laughs> To a manager and me, look at Keelan and just go, did you just really suggest Sizzler while we're trying to solve problems with soundcheck and this and that set up for the show? Whatever. We just, again, for the 17th time that tour, forget about Sizzler. Now, it sounds like Keelan was being a bit of a, a fizzler. Mm, he was. He really was. He's being a Sizzler fizzler. Yeah. Um, anyway, we finally get two hours between the show and uh, <laughs> we're all set up. But then I realise, oh... I can't, I got to do my podcast. So I got to my room to do my podcast. <laughs> Dylan has to do other stuff uh, as well. He's oh setting up God. for the VIP for the yep. meet and greet and sound check stuff. I'm doing my podcast. <laughs> yeah. Keelan, sick as death, goes to Sizzler by himself. You could have had a nap. <laughs> he needed a nap because he came home from Sizzler feeling so sick that he, he had to have five Panadol to do the show. I was, I was in- Did you catch an Uber? Yeah. To Sizzler. I caught, yeah, one and one there and back. Yep. I spent $50 on my Uber experience. <laughs> I mean, sorry, my Sizzler experience. How what much you, is Sizzler? It was, all you can it eat? was $27. Oh, I don't know. It was very expensive. And, and Ended how up much being food quite did expensive. you eat? Yeah. Uh, you didn't n- eat that much because n- you were sick. Yeah. So you just wanted to try the food. And I was so sick I couldn't taste anything, so... <laughs> I was just like that, eating and eating and eating. I feel like that would have improved the Sizzler experience, not being able to taste it. Probably. I don't know. But <laughs> oh, it was, man. It was That's so really good. So this is what I wanted to say. Uh, anyone from Sizzler listening, we're going to be in Queensland again in two weeks if you want to give me a free... These nuts. Or you can eat. so grim that you're begging for a Sizzler <laughs> sponsorship. Like, fair enough, KFC. No, not a sponsorship. Sponsorship would be great. Oh. I would love for Sizzler to sponsor oh, us. maybe, yeah, maybe we sponsorship. Get money as opposed to just one yeah, Sizzler meal. What I was trying to say is I thought we hit a low point early on in the podcast when you asked for free KFC. <laughs> I thought that was the lowest point. But yet again, you just continue to wow us on this podcast with Sizzler. I don't know why I look down so much on Sizzler. So I guys, just... in Brisbane, it costs it but... costs a dollar to talk to Keelan, <laughs> gold coin donation to talk to Keelan. If you want to talk to him for real after the show yeah. when he's finished walking for working for an actual conversation, it's a ten dollar Sizzler voucher. You know That's why how much that I costs. think I look down on it because people who live in Gold Coast even go, dude. Yeah. Like, and they live on the Gold Coast, so they already have no standards. <laughs> but how good would it be if I got to do one of those sponsored Instagram posts? Like, <laughs> look at me at Sizzler. <laughs> Come and get your great Sizzler Mate, food. I'm sure that, spon- <laughs> like, free food or not, you will absolutely be posting photos at Sizzler. <laughs> That's how excited Next you are about the brand. It is, a, it is a compulsory team dinner, lunch, break, whatever, <laughs> when we go to Brisbane. <laughs> I, will, I will let tour manager know and that's booked in. And it's I'm a so business glad. expense. I'm not so you say tour, this tour manager is my employee. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. 
I also want to mention how sick I was. I got back from Sizzla and was in the fetal position on the bed it about to cry. Yeah, that's most bad. people after they come back from a Sizzla. <laughs> well, <laughs> it has yeah. nothing to do with you being sick. That's most people after a buffet. Just ask Kyle, mate. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so, well, I'm glad the weekend went well. That's yeah, good. It was good. It was um, good. And Brisbane's up next. Loosebiz.com slash gigs. I believe... Uh, Sizzla can contact me at Keelan for the Brisbane shows. No problem at all. Are you done? <laughs> I'm good. Great. This is, you see how annoyed you are? <laughs> Imagine this for three days and there's actually Sizzlers that we could go to yeah. around, Damn. right? Imagine if there was a Sizzler an hour that way. He'd be like, boys, we're going to go. Um, one, <laughs> yeah. Oh, we could do that. There's, oh, there's, no. Uh, there is a food star maybe 30 minutes from here. Maybe one day after we filmed the podcast, we can all go on a team trip to food star. So it all you can eat buffet. Yeah. Oh, I th- food star just sounds like a servo. Food star is like a little bit worse than. It sounds Sizzler. like Food Works, which is a supermarket. I booked Let's that one in, on. guys. Let's <laughs> move on from where Kila wants star. to eat. Yeah. I don't think it's very engaging. <laughs> no, I bet people are loving it. Do they love it? Anytime we do something that sucks, people are like, oh, could you talk about? Could a bit people will start requesting a segment where you just go through your meal prep for the week, but it's not actual meal prep; it's just restaurants you want to eat all day at. <laughs> <laughs> well, Luke, uh, it's actually quite interesting uh, that you've brought up things that suck, uh, <laughs> and I think that. Uh, this is going to go down very well because it does suck. Uh, and that is pictures of you in your underwear. Not good. <laughs> <laughs> As you I want to put it up. I did, I did want to bring it up now. Uh, well, last week, obviously, nobby.com.au, uh, we're, we're big fans Jeez, of the Jeez, they're getting club. value for money, aren't they? We just they keep are. talking about it. This isn't the sponsored part. This is, no, this this is, is leisure. I want to address this. Yeah. Uh, and so I want to address this even more. Out of goodwill of our hearts, yep. um, we posted a picture of us wearing the undies because we realise often we talk about the undies, we haven't but really you guys, showed people what yeah. the undies look like because they are funky undies. Yeah, they're I mean, cool. you can see the photos online, but you can't really see what it looks like on, like, you know, the average male, Luke <laughs> <laughs> now, what or, I, or the below average, <laughs> <laughs> now, depending on the photo. And now, usually yep. the old Luke, maybe episode one or two Luke, yep. when I was maybe a yep. little bit more in shape, yep. would have come in fighting, would have come and going, hey, unfair. How dare you? Yeah. Below guys, average Luke, episode 17 Luke, guys, let himself go Luke, midlife crisis Luke, obese Luke, I've, sizzler bod uh, Luke. I've entered a, a comfortable period of my life yep. <laughs> where I guess I've, I've uh, let slip. Hey, how, many, um, how many kids do you have? Now, because you have a dad bod. And I was just wondering why you have one of those. Now, I've got a few comments here. I've got to a go few through. DMs. 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 I didn't get any DMs. Both positive and negative. Okay. A lot of girls. Yeah. The articles are right. BuzzFeed's correct. Dig in the dad bod. Right. But. But. A lot of girls and guys, lots of guys actually, not digging it. Now, I, I, it. I'll read a few comments. Okay. Right? And then I've got some as well. Oh, no, don't worry. Mine, I couldn't find any positive ones. It's not like I'm going to skew this like usual. <laughs> These are all negative about me. <laughs> okay. Um, here's a couple of comments that I found. Mm-hmm. Uh, I thought Luke was healthy. <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Uh, this one actually not not great for you. Uh, not commenting on your body, just your head. Lewis looks like he could beat up Luke. Oh no. Okay. No. Wait. That's the wrong one. <laughs> Damn it. Lewis looks like he could beat up Luke. Mm-hmm. Something I wouldn't have believed before this nut shot. <laughs> so what? They think so you're going to slap on my me with your size. dick? <laughs> He's going to beat me up with your dick. Uh, someone well, the said, first time I've done that. Someone said, not my proudest fap. Um, another person said, chub club. That was it. Chub <laughs> um, club. Uh, this one uh, said, uh, just sounding off, but Lewis looks like a sexual predator and I don't like the way he's looking at key lime. <laughs> key lime. <laughs> key lime pie. <laughs> now, look, there was. we can go into more. I bet you've well, got We can go more. into more. I've got some more. Uh, we've got, damn, Jazz is a lucky woman. There's a comment about me. Lots yep. of positive ones about me. Yep. Uh, I like this one as well. Now, on your left, you've got your average beta male. And yep. on your right, you have the peak alpha male. I was on the right. Oh, um, that person can't, That person probably got confused. It got mixed up. They're left and right. I, I don't know. I, we saw the photos. 
Hey man, just sounding off. Mike Goldman is like this post. Thanks, Mike. He's pretty horny these days. He's on a very horny guy. <laughs> Guys, girls, no, no worries. Anything that's showing a bit of flesh, you're going to get a Goldman like. Um, oh, sorry. Was I done? Um, ha ha, Luke. Ha ha, Lewis got abs and Luke got laughing, crying face emoji. That's it. Uh, and then I was semi proud of my physique till I realised I looked kind of like Luke. <laughs> And that's those oh. are my favourite comments. So now, that was that was a great sound off section, I must say. Now I'm glad that you brought this up because I'm just very happy that I've clearly exceeded everyone's expectations about my rig. I and you've really disappointed. I now, I think, I've I've uploaded topless pictures of me in the past on social media, mm-hmm. and that's when I had a, maybe a better setup. Yeah. I'm usually very into fitness. It, since we've started the Luke and Lewis podcast, um, it's one of those times where life has taken its course and yeah. um i've i've put it this way i've uh <laughs> my gym closed for me the world just shut off for yeah, me for a bit because at the start of the podcast you were saying that the world is your gym well, this brings me have you gone to space <laughs> <laughs> because it doesn't look like you've been in the gym have you been hanging out with elon musk yeah. on mars now this brings me to my next announcement which yep. i was looking forward to making guys yeah uh I would like to say that uh, after this post, uh, nothing like a bit of online bullying <laughs> to kick you back into gear. <laughs> they say body shaving doesn't work. It does. Yeah. And message received. I hear you. Mm-hmm. And you know what? I'm not fighting it. I agree. I'm having some lower waist issues. <laughs> <laughs> some lower waist. Um, I've, I've looked down upon myself and realized it's quite problematic down there. It's not, mm. it's not crazy, by the way. Look at the photos. I'm not... I'm not that big. Well, if you look at the photos I that just, we decided not to no. post, man, those are crazy. Yes. What w- w- the surprising thing is, is what I actually realized after looking at that photos is how average my physique is. Yeah. If you look at that, it's so like, wow, that is so the average male. So, but like, and the, on the right, the guy looks the the guy the ripped muscular yeah. dude looks definitely one point three times stronger than the average physique. Oh, well, this is the so I'll deal with. Uh, I thought Luke was healthy, you know. <laughs> oh damn, I thought I looked good, but then I realized oh, that's fine. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, this is the one that kicks me back into gear. Yeah, someone says, "Holy shit." I think Lewis does look 1.3 times stronger than Luke. And I went, enough's enough. And ladies and gentlemen, I would officially like to announce the yep. grand reopening. I'm coming back to earth and the world is going to be my gym. I've touched down. Guess what I did this morning? Space landed. Yep. 50 push-ups straight out of bed. Ooh. Thinking of going for a run later today. Probably won't have time, but I might get to it tomorrow. But it's that kind of <laughs> that kind of mindset. But you're thinking I'm about thinking perhaps about maybe. I wasn't even, it wasn't even on my mind the last th- month. Yeah. And, and I would like to uh, uh, make it a thing, where a goal mm-hmm. where uh, by the end of the year, okay, or even by the end of the Nobby sponsorship, yep. or hopefully they give us another three months so I have more time. But, I was going to um, say, how, how long, much longer do we have I don't know. Nobbies? But I would like to do one more shoot. All right. Okay. Yeah. I want to do a follow-up shoot. All right. Yeah. Okay. It's going to be two alpha males standing there. One, right. very evident that the world is his gym. Yeah. One, very evident that he goes to a gym. Okay. A, a and gym. Yes. Yep. And, and Okay. All right. And by We're the way, on. guys, and you can follow my journey, Luke Kidgel on Instagram. I'll be posting. The Luke Kidgel School of Fitness is open. Okay. okay. And if you want to join, here's all you got to do. No no commitment fees, no fees at all. Because if, you if, if you're on Earth, okay, anyone in space, you can't Clearly, join my gym. Clearly, Luke's, Luke's fitness plan is super easy because it doesn't exist. No, no, here's the, here's the plan, right? Okay. If you want to join the Luke Kidgel School of Fitness, <laughs> yep. you gotta, all you got to do, leave your house. Boom, you're in the gym, all right? Mm-hmm. You can follow that my progress through Instagram. Uh, all you got to do is uh, twice a day, just at some point, use the world as your gym. Start posting me updates, all right? We, I want to get correspondence. Tag Luke and Lewis. Tag me. All right, I'll be reposting people, changing that. Dude, I'm going to become a fitness influencer. You watch okay. the next three months, yep. all right? And it's not going to be a typical, because uh, you know you know what I find quite unrelatable about what? fitness influencers? It's when like, they're all like incredibly jacked and roided up, exactly. obviously. Yeah. We're starting... At scratch. You couldn't actually find a more person starting it. We're starting at rock bottom. I think this is the... Mm, I'd say below rock bottom. Here's the thing, though. I haven't put on weight. I weighed myself. Right. I've lost weight. So you've 
You've lost just kilo. lost all your I've muscle. I've lost all my muscle and weight. And replaced that with, with, fat. with, the, with a bit of chub. Yep. Because it's lighter than so muscle. So I used to be 71 and now you know I'm why? 69. No gravity on Mars. So you yeah. haven't been using your muscles. Yeah. Yeah. Because you haven't been in the gym or, or better known as Earth. But yeah, if you want to sign up to the Luke Hidgel School of Fitness, all you got to do is to become a member today is change that mindset and start using the world as your gym. And boom, you're a part of my gym. All right. We're, I'm going to turn into Mark Wahlberg, man. Except I'm going to be getting up at 10 a.m. All yep. right. We're going to be. Oh, 10 a.m. That's pretty early. Yeah, that was earlier than I was up this morning. <laughs> yeah, it definitely was. Ooh, 10 a.m. Oh, you're working um, hard. You know, we'll be going for runs. We'll be using park benches, all right? Mm -hmm. Any park gym set up. If, yep. it's, the, if it's part of the world, it can be used as your what gym. about um our gym no well, that's not that's the only part of the world which you act, actually if you go to a gym it's you're not qualified. part of the luke Hidgel school of fitness oh, but i, I think join. there'll be a lot of people right now i think we've all a lot of us have been putting off fitness for a while and i know there's people listening watching this going well, i'm in luke's position mm. maybe you saw yourself in underwear recently and maybe someone said you didn't look healthy <laughs> it doesn't matter what your reason is for the change it's positive, and I'd like to make a movement by the end of the year. Mm -hmm. Perhaps, uh, you know, we foreshadowed maybe, you know, if there was an event coming up later in the year, Lewis. Uh, oh, we like, like a, like some a kind live of show live or something like that where we were doing of, it together. Oh, uh, that, but is, is that announced? It might be announced. Is it, but is it locked in? I can't remember. Who knows? Who knows? But uh, the point is, If guys, we were to be doing a thing by the end of the year, mm. all right, by then, all right, I'm going to do one, so, so one, we one want, show. We've got the before picture. Yeah. I want to do one show topless. <laughs> the whole show? Yeah, the topless? whole show. Okay. And I want do to be I also have to be topless? Uh, you, you can. You, you do have a good rig. That was, that was one thing I was very surprised about. <laughs> when we we're taking the photos, I went dang in my head. I think everyone's a little bit surprised. You, I've, I, I've seen you topless before and I knew you had muscles, but you were like skinny ripped. Yeah, now you're actually kind of. I'm at of that look point. I'm still, I'm still skinny, but I got the muscles. Mm. I'm slowly becoming 1.3 times. Stronger. But I want, I want to become, uh, a f like people's. Yes, I know. I know. I'm a lot of your comedy idols, but I want to be your <laughs> fitness idol. Yeah, as well. Um, so the Luke Hidge School though, of Fitness. We're taking applications. Unfortunately, um, this is if you do become people's fitness idol, it's gonna make you um, less people's comedy idols because I would say that 90% of your comedy recently has been people laughing at your rig. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like that might affect it. You're going to have to, this is a crossroads you're at in your career. Yeah. Like, do I want to be, you know, fitness idol or, or comedy? I Luke? think I want to be like a fitness comedian. Okay. Where like, I just always like make jokes about how jacked I am and stuff like that. All right. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Which is not, I mean, it, it it's wouldn't be relatable yet because I'm not that but we'll I'm not where there. I want to be. We'll get there. Yeah. Well, I think that, that this whole thing is proved. And by the way, I'll get there without using a gym. That's what I want to make clear. And I want okay. to make clear to you guys, don't get sucked in by the social norms that Lewis is sucked into. Gyms aren't necessary to achieve that rig. Yes, it was a good physique and congratulations to you. I want to prove to the regular man and the regular woman, all yeah. right, uh, that you can achieve that body with the world. Okay. Just you and the world. Hey, Luke. Yep. We'll see. Great. And I'll do it. Uh, but I think that this whole this whole conversation and yep. how motivated you are and how motivated I am proves one very important thing, and that is that body shaming and cyberbullying works. And continue, don't continue doing it. All right, message received. Oh, no, continue. You can, you definitely can. Sound off in the comment section. What do you think of Luke's rig? How how much better is my rig than Luke's? Just sound off in the comment section. Let us know. I think. You know, and I think there'll be a lot of disappointed girls out there who are loving the dad bod and, and, and don't want to see it go. But I'm sorry, ladies. It's uh, it's gone. It's yep. going to be gone forever. Going to be gone forever. Because me right. and the world are going to unite and create uh, a, a weapon under here. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know what, man? I think that if in the future, if some kind, some kind of event or thing happens, yep. I don't know what, the, what it would be or what it would look like. But yep. if it was some thing, we, we'll, do, we'll do it topless. And, and oh, if, maybe not topless. Maybe I could just do wear a tank top. Only a so tank people top. can only see. Nah, but I want people just to see, a hint. See okay, the a section of it topless. Hey, man, why are we even planning this thing that doesn't? It's not even happening. True. It's not it's like true. we are going to do live shows at no, the end of the year. That's ridiculous. No. Okay, it's and not it's, like people should be hanging out for that if no, you're in but, Australia. No, because they they should be buying tickets to my show so they can see exactly. me and then get you know get their. Yep. Hey, uh, speaking what? of my shows, shout out to all the people wearing Founders merch. Yeah, every single show. Has Even had, the mannequins are wearing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every single show has had multiple people wearing Founders merch. Legends. So it's, it's cool to have uh, people who are listening to the shows. Obviously, listening to our show is obviously coming out to to my show. When Luke does his tour, you guys will show up. It's really cool. Um, but it, seriously, don't distract Keelan. He's working. <laughs> 
Um, is that the end of the podcast? I think so. Yep. All right. I'm going to go probably do some push-ups, do some sit-ups, and uh, mm-hmm. you guys go do the same. And I'm um, being serious, by the way. Uh, join the Luke Kidgel School of Fitness. All you got to do is send me a message. That's the application. And let him know how much you don't like his rig. No. Or, oh, sorry. We're you, working oh, a form it. of com- a community of positive change. And yeah. what you're trying to encourage is negative. And no, no. But I think that... that you know, That's what you gym junkies do. You're all just in there looking at yourselves in the mirror. We don't need mirrors, dude. All right. We yep. just need photos and body shaming and Instagram. That's Maybe our the motivation. occasional window. Yeah. <laughs> and we catch ourselves in reflections and goes, damn, I should be hitting the world more. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's the end of the show, guys. Uh, grab your knobby, nobby.com.au. Grab also, your tickets, loosebeers.com. I'm uh, going to be in Perth at the Comedy Lounge uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday this week. So if you want to come down. If you want to see a shit rig, go see Luke. <laughs> See you, you later, guys. See this shit rigging the flesh. <laughs> <laughs>